Happiest of holidays! Tonight I have one more Jewish folktale to tell for the final night of Hanukkah 2022. It's a very silly one, and another one featuring the not-so-wise men of Helm. This is The Cat and the Butter. Moisha, the chief elder of Helm, had a cat. And this cat was the cattiest of cats, which is to say, it was a pest. <coughs> He'd knock over the glass you placed before him. He destroyed much of the furniture in the house. But most of all, you had to cover your sweets and treats because the cat would gobble them up. One day, Moisha's wife Zadie had brought home a pound of precious butter. She placed it on the table, meaning to put it away, but she got distracted and wandered into the next room. And in no time, the couple's cat had gobbled up the butter. And I do not care to think about what that litter box will look like later. Zadie returned to the kitchen and saw the cat licking its paws where the butter should have been. You whiskered little weasel! I'm evicting that furry tush as soon as I get my hands on it. Zadie chased the cat around the kitchen, but it was too slippery to catch. Perhaps it was all that butter. Moisha arrived home to an utterly destroyed kitchen where both wife and feline were yowling. Ah! Zadie, calm down. What on earth is going on? That horrible cat of yours has eaten an entire pound of butter. It seems odd. Did you even see the cat eat the butter? No. But the cat is here and the butter is gone. Hmm. I have an idea to determine its guilt. Moisha moved the kitchen scale to the table and placed the cat in it. There, you see? One pound. There's your butter, all right. All right, I do see. But if that on the scale is the butter, then where is the cat? Um... Neither Moisha nor Zadie could answer that question. You can read that folktale and many others in Rachel the Clever and Other Jewish Folk Tales, collected by Josepha Sherman. And wow, what fun this has been! Eight Jewish folk tales it flew by. Thank you for joining me. This series was hand-picked by my patrons, so you should become one of them so you can order me around. Just look at those beautiful people! I'm taking a little time off for the holidays. And my tales will be back after the new year. See you then. Fucked up fairy tales with Liz. Fucked up fairy tales with Liz.